video tutorial na ipapakita ko po ay kung paano mag-download ng Google Drive, mag-share ng files gamit ng Google Drive, at mag-sync ng files sa PC at sa Android phone. So, let us start with how to download Google Drive. So, first po, syempre, punta mo muna kayo sa inyong browser and type google.com slash drive. And then, pag nag-load na po yung page, just click download on the upper right side. So, there are two options, which is personal and business. So, we are going to choose backup and sync. So, we are going to click download and then agree. So, wait until ma-download po. So, ito na po, for example, yung na-download na file. And wait until ma-install na po yung software. So, pag tumingin po tayo dito sa right side ng ating taskbar, makikita niyo po yung backup and sync from Google, which is the Google Drive. So, pag hindi po natin yung icon na yun ng Google Drive, makikita niyo po yung inyong email. As you can see, the maximum gigabytes of the files na pwede natin i-upload using Google Drive is 15 gigabytes. That is for free. So, kung gusto niyo po na mas mataas pa sa 15 gigabytes, kailangan niyo po mag-upgrade, which requires a payment of 89 a month and 149 a month, depending po kung ilang gigabytes. So, kung ayaw niyo naman po, you may add a new account. So, this process is the same lang po. Okay, nang po kayo magsa-sign in using Google Drive. So, ito po yung continuation ng ating installation kanina. So, once na ma-install na po yung software, the Google Drive backup and sync, ito na po yung next natin gagawin, which is to sign in using your account in Google. So, there is an option here after you mag-sign in. Wherein, you may choose kung gusto nyo po mag-sync Lahat ng files on your desktop, documents, and pictures folder. So, kung gusto niyo po mag-sync lahat ng files doon, just check this box. And kung ayaw niyo naman po, uncheck niyo lang po. Pwede naman po hindi na lang natin i-check since meron naman pong bukod na folder para sa Google Drive. Kung saan po tayo pwede mag-save ng files. So, click next button. And then, may mag appear pong folder which is yung Google Drive na po. So, let us try saving a picture dito po sa ating folder ng Google Drive. So, ang sinave ko po dito ay yung picture na kulay pink. If you are going to look, dito po sa ating taskbar, may kita niyo po yung logo ng Google Drive na nagsisync. So, let us try logging in using our account. Just type drive.google.com and then type your email and password. Kung pinalikan po natin yung taskbar, makikita nyo po na magsisync pa rin yung image and wait until date na po. So makikita na natin sa ating Google Drive. If you wanted to download the picture or the file, just click lang po yung picture and then makikita niya po sa upper right side yung icon for download which is yung arrow na meron po line. Kung gusto niyo naman pong i-share yung picture using a link, click niyo lang po yung tatlong dots na sa upper right and then choose share. So there are two options kung paano po tayo mag-share ng files. So pwede pong ilagay niyo na lang yung name or their email address and pwede rin naman pong I-click po yung button na to para makuha yung link. And then, copy the link. Para masync naman po yung files sa ating Android phone, go to Google Play and install Google Drive. So, once meron na po tayong Google Drive, all you need is to open the app and then log in using your account. So, ayan po. Nandito na rin yung picture na color pink na sinip ko kanina. To download or share the file, click me lang po yung tatlong dots na nasa baba ng pinang file. And then, talabas po yung options for download and share. Kung may file naman po na nakasave na sa ating Android phone na gusto natin i-upload sa ating Google Drive, just choose that picture para lamabas yung options for share and then save to drive. Just make sure na yung account na pipiliin po natin is yung account na ginamit natin for Google Drive. 